Haha, <laughs> gotcha. Of course you're gonna see me again. I got a Jeep, man. You kidding me? You know, on windy days like this, it's a good thing to drive the back roads when you know them, because they usually got more trees lining up. And you don't have to worry about, you know, getting blown around as much or anything like that. And you can drive slower. You don't have to worry about driving fast. Man, I'll tell you what, most men, there's a couple of things. One, bring your own coffee. Coffee has gone downhill bad. The other thing, traffic. It is insane. I was trying to merge into the lane. There's a center divider medium that you can get into, just like they have down in Southern California and other major cities and stuff. It's a double yellow that you can, you're allowed to get in for, I don't know, what is it, like 1,500 feet or something like that, to get up to speed to be able to merge into the double lane traffic in your direction. I go to get in and this guy comes out of nowhere, cuts me off into that thing from the opposite side of the highway and then slams on his brakes and proceeds to turn left on the throttle as hard as he can to cut in front of traffic and get into the parking lot where I guess there was some special store that he desperately needed to get into that might not have been the thrift store that I went to. And unfortunately, I didn't have any good scores, but I do have some good scores I haven't showed you guys yet. So I'm gonna stop off for a second, say hi to the wife, and then when I get back, I'll probably show you the thrift store stuff and the way the weather looks, who knows? I might show you something else cool on the way home, all right? So you guys take care, I'll see you in a bit. Well, I have pulled up to where she works and sent her a message, so I'll expect her to come out in the meantime. I gotta raid the van and find where my sunglasses went with my uh, digital cable, power cable. Oh, man. Uh, well, I don't really know where the glasses are, but here's the power cable, that's a bonus. I'll be able to charge the camera. I just uh, remembered it has Bluetooth capability to my phone. So some of the recording that I took when I was bowling the other night, I can send up. Cool. All right. Well, I don't know where my sunglasses went, so oh well. Oh, hi. I, didn't... Hi. I was right in your van. You want to say hi? Hi. Right? Total surprise. All right. I'll see you guys later on some other cool stuff. I'm going to, you know, say hi to my wife and then take a drive and the weather's cooperative or something cool. If not, we're back home. Alright, later. Well, I don't know how well you can see them back there, but I literally just watched that family come climbing out out of that hole in the mountain over there. It was one of the cool things I wanted to show you. I didn't expect that. The next one's right down the road, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Sorry, guys. They're looking at me like, dude, that wasn't cool. Alright, I'll be back. Well, I drive by it all the time, so I figured I'd show it to you. It's a route that I take when I try to stay out of the wind. It passes right by Lewis and Clark Caverns. It's kind of a teaser trailer, though, because I can only show you the campground and then show you up to the mountain. But let's take a look at it anyway. The campground actually has a bunch of cool stuff in it. It is open year-round for camping if you're in RVs and stuff like that, last I heard. This is pretty much it. Those cabins you can go ahead and rent. It's really awesome showers included all these camping spots this one happens to be one with power which is really awesome and then all the way back there is a the visitor center I'm not really gonna go, go in there right now because I'm not really gonna do too much in this because they're closed but I figured I'd show you the mountain too by the way you see that mountain all the way up there right at the tip of my finger that's how you get into the caverns. You gotta drive all the way up to a parking lot up there and then hike uphill all the way to that to get in. And then when you get out, you gotta hike back down. It's actually a pretty awesome tour. I recommend you do it if you haven't seen it yet. And then also, I figured I'd give you a little bit of a fact if you haven't seen it. This might blow your mind. Lewis and Clark actually did not discover this place. I know, shocking, right? It was actually discovered by two hunters. They were out and they were concerned because they saw steam or what appeared to possibly be fire smoke coming up out of the hills over there. So they went to go investigate it because they didn't want a forest fire and they definitely didn't want anybody dying in the woods. So they went and checked it out and they stumbled across the caverns. Then later on, some other stuff happened and boom, Lewis and Clark Caverns. So there's something else I gotta show you about down the road over here. 
it's actually pretty interesting it's kind of linked in with the caverns and then i'll tell you why they're closed all right i'll see you guys in a bit all right well i pulled over on the side of the road i'm not too far from the caverns and this is something you'll see if you drive out here i hope you can hear me because it's really really windy all right like always but see that machine back there that's private property so don't go trying to go into this place but take a look at that so this used to be a mine private mine or something like that i some corporation or company or something like that they were cutting a hole in the mountain back here and setting off explosive charges and a whole bunch of stuff like that then later on when the caverns needed tunnel work done this company i believe is the one that actually went and did the tunnel work inside the caverns then they also found out that some of the detonations that they did in there might have actually shook loose some of the stuff in the caverns before they even realized how many chambers were actually in it. But I figured I'd show you this giant hole because it's right across the street from the river next to trail tr train tracks. Go figure, right? Trains go everywhere. We need to fix those, by the way. But anyway, that thing is pretty cool. One of the main reasons why they uh, shut down the caverns in the winter time is for the sake of the bats that are in it because there are bats that are in it and honestly I don't really think that thing's super active anymore either so anyway I'll see you guys later and like I said earlier smash that subscribe button because you never know what I'm going to come up with to show you guys next all right you take care and I'll see you next time well it's been about four and a half hours since I left so just real quick. That looks like it's still going to me, and that's just enough to get another fire started. So I'll see you guys later. I just wanted to add that, all right? Take care. I'll see you next time.